What are your predictions for 2018? Hey, Emily, it's uh, great to be joining you from the craziness of uh, J.P. Morgan uh, here in the hallways uh, again. Uh, hoping that 2018 is going to be another very positive year. As you said, 2017 was a great year for approvals and for some incredible uh, results for patients. 2018, we're hoping, will that M&A wave really appear? Uh, or not in 2018 is one of the big questions. Uh, meanwhile, we hope the fundamental science and innovation and results for patients is going to continue uh, coming along strong. So if your hope uh, ends up coming to fruition, what are some of your deal-making goals and what kind of deals do you expect to see? Well, I... Uh, Innovative biotech companies like what we invest at at Third Rock Ventures uh, have really become the fuel for the global pharmaceutical industry. So big companies at this point, two thirds to 70% of their pipeline come from the small companies. So those big companies have that hunger uh, for innovation. So we'd love to see uh, a series of M&As across different product categories, whether that's in the precision oncology side or in the, uh, the neurosciences side. The sort of the picking up of those companies in the one to ten billion dollar market cap range, there wasn't a lot of that in 2017, not as much as some people were hoping for. I think it's one of the big questions people are talking about, are we going to see that here in the first half of 2018? So what impact do you think the Trump administration and a new health care plan will have? Well, I... The tax reform that was just uh, passed through, that had been a big overhang where people were saying, was capital going to be repatriated or not? And some people thought a lot of large companies were staying on the sidelines a little bit through 2017. Now that's been removed. There's a favorable environment. Uh, let's see how that uh, actually plays out. On healthcare itself, uh, I think fundamentally, as I said, there remains a fundamental hunger for innovation. That matches up well with just sort of the great progress that's being seen in the innovative biotech se sector.